Scott. Thank you. Right. Well, I, I am proud to be back here. I came back because I wanted to be with you All right. this morning. And I'm here to say hi, but I'm here to say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here to say thank you because I know, I know better than other way, anyone else, the reason that I am standing here as your United States Senator, I'm here because of you. Yeah. 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 You were, you made the phone calls, you brought out the phone, you talked to your friends and your family, and Scott and I talked a lot during this campaign, and I talked with a lot of folks who were here. I look around this hall, and I see a lot of folks who have been my friends for many, many years. Amen. You know, I was Attorney General of the State of Connecticut for 20 years, believe it or not. One of my children, when she was younger, I have four children, and my daughter once asked me whether I was going to be the eternal general. <laughs> <laughs> but this opportunity came along, and I had a tough fight. I was outspent by seven to one. I was up against $50 million or more, actually. Mm. Constant pounding, negative, Attack machine, distortions, lies, but I had some money you can't buy. Mm. That's right. I had you. Yes. Right. Yes. And you know the power of people when they're mobilized and they're working together. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here this morning. Not just for me to say thank you, but so that we can work as partners and allies to make sure this country fulfills the dream of all of our children, that they have equal opportunity, that they have better education, that we eliminate that gap in achievement that plagues our schools decades after we first found that some kids were underperforming others, that some schools were not as good as others. We need to give our children that fair shot at the American dream by closing that achievement gap, and I'm going to be working hard to achieve it. And we need to get more jobs for folks. You know, you've seen in your communities and your lives how important good jobs are, and that is my priority, to make sure that we put Connecticut back to work, that everyone, not just some of the folks who happen to live in some areas, but particularly in our inner cities where our teenagers have such high unemployment rates. They're willing to work, but they can't find the jobs and get the skills they need to go to work. Mm -hmm. And we need to save them from the criminal justice system. That's right. Because ultimately, it costs a lot more to keep somebody in prison than to educate them. So better education, more jobs, I'm going to be on some great committees, the Armed Services Committee, I just found out, the Armed Services Committee, the Judiciary Committee, the Health, Education, and Labor Committee, and the Commission Committee on Aging. And they're going to give me, they're going to give me a platform to help Connecticut. And I just want to emphasize as strongly as I can, I'm going to be the senator from Connecticut. I'm not a national center. You know, I'm living here. My roots are here. This is where I'm grounded. I'm going to be back here every weekend. I'm going to be coming to NAACP <coughs> events just like I did for right. 20 years as right. in general. You can't get rid of me. That's right. That's right. You're going to see me just like you did before. And by the way, anybody who happens to be visiting Washington, I'd love to see you. I need to see some friendly faces down there. <laughs> I need some friends in Washington. So you got to come see me. And I would just close with this thought. You know, uh, I'm going to be on the Judiciary Committee. And one of the fights that I try to do as Attorney General, and Scott and the NAACP were very, very important in this fight, is to make sure that we have more men and women of color on our judiciary. Carol Ann Brown, stand up. We're trying to make her a judge. Come on, Carol. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're working.
working on it, and I'm going to be on the Federal <laughs> Judiciary Committee. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll even make Scott a judge. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to appear in front of him. But more, more folks uh, who, who have that perspective, who know what it is to be victims of discrimination, who know what it is to fight, and who know that it's important to have that sensitivity. And men and women of color still are underrepresented on both the state bench and the federal time. We need to do better. I am going to be working. I'm going to be working to make this nation worthy of your dreams, your children's dreams, your hopes, what you believe we can be. Because we can do better than we are right now. We can be, as we are now, the greatest country on the planet. If we come together, as you're doing today, and work hard to make sure this country is better than it is now. So thank you for having me today. Yes. I will be here again. I want to thank you for all the great work that you have done over the years. People in this room have been leaders in your community and all your help and support for me. Let's go get them. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give it up to our Senator one more time.